Are you wondering how to use Smartsheet IF formulas? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because today I'm going to be walking you through four different examples of putting them into practice and how you can use them on data sets. And I'll also be giving you some tips and suggestions along the way. But before I get into it, I did just want to quickly note that I have released a Smartsheet function or uh, formula course and you can get that in the link in the description below. So I thought I'd bring that to your attention. It is currently on discount um, and if you're also looking to build dashboards as well then you can get a bundle for, for both courses as well for a discounted price. So I thought I'd mention that to you. If you're new to Smartsheet, haven't really used Smartsheet formulas up until this point then I would recommend checking that out. So with that said, let's get into uh, the video here today. So as you can see here I've created a dummy sheet and if you can with a lot of dummy data. And if you can imagine, this is almost like a portfolio sheet where I'm keeping track of different projects. So of course, your data is gonna differ and how you want to analyze your data will be as well. But what I've done here is I've got four different projects. We've got a rag status of, of their kind of current condition. And I'm gonna use this data to, to set up different if formulas depending on, um, or, or to, to specify different kind of statuses of where we're at. So let's imagine these are different like statuses. So let's say what I wanna do here, or in this example, in this particular demo, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm looking into the rag column and I'm looking to return um, certain data or text depending on the result that's in here. So we've got four different uh, statuses or, or rags, I should say, sorry. Uh, we've got a green, um, so let, let's just imagine that as kind of uh, on track, uh, the project's going well. Yellow, prox uh, the project, project's doing okay, but there are some kind of minor minor blips or, or risk or issues that could impact uh, deliverables or the outcome or maybe even the schedule. Red, the project's behind schedule. We've got risks, we've got issues. It's, it's kind of getting serious, and yeah, we're not we're not looking to uh, to complete on on time or or uh, as as planned. And then blue, we're going to use blue in this context as um, completed. So the project's actually completed. So that's why we've got four here. Uh, so just bear this in mind as I'm walking through each uh, each uh, formula. So in the first example, and I'm, I've actually put these in before ahead of time instead of building them out. Um, just so that I can kind of click into them, explain them, and just make it kind of more useful for you. And if you like, what I'll do as well is I'll drop each of these different formulas into the description below so that you could copy them. Um, of course, you would need to change the mapping, but I do find personally when I'm, when I'm writing new formulas, it can be tricky to get all of the kind of quotation marks and commas in the right places. So as long as you swap it out for your sheet, then you, you can kind of use these. So I'll do that for you. So in this first example, what we're looking to do here is basic, basically it's the most simple use of the if formula. And what we're basically saying is if the text that's found in this particular cell if it's green, uh, as you can see in the quotations, then we want it to say OK. And if it's, you know, if it's not green, then we want it to say at risk. So, so in, in other words, if it's green, fantastic, project's doing well, nothing to, to, to comment on here. If it's not, we need to look into it. So that's essentially how this kind of use, use case could work. Um, of course, we could swap that out to blue and anything under blue is gonna be at risk. So obviously it depends on your criteria here. Um, now that's obviously may or may not work for, for what you're looking to do. So you may need to use a different if formula. So in this example, we're basically setting two different conditions. So here, I'm actually gonna change this actually. I'm gonna change this to blue and this to green and then I'll walk you through it. So basically in this example, this one actually makes more sense because what we're saying here is if it's green or if it's blue, it's okay. Any other status of the project is at risk. And that's obviously the criteria we're using here. So let's look at it quickly. So equals if, um, we've got an, obviously the mapping to this column here. So the rag and the at row is a means of um, referring to anything that it's kind of found within, within that row itself. It's better than doing kind of manual mapping. So I'd suggest using at rows as well. So if this cell here is blue, then it's okay, we don't need to look into it further. If it's also green, so comma, new if if uh, formula or statement, if it's green, it's also okay, anything else is at risk. So basically this is an if formula with two conditions, this is an if formula with one condition. Now, let's have a look at this third example. I'll actually drag it down. So what we're saying here is a slightly different example 
And in this one, we are basically, it's basically just an alteration of this one. So if you look here, we've almost got two if statements together. And this one here, we have um, an, an or. So if it's, if it's green or it's yellow, it's okay. So again, in this example we've had so far, this should probably be a blue and this should be green. So if, if it's blue or green, it's okay. Uh, otherwise, the way this is set up at the moment, we haven't got anything for uh, if it's false. So this could be, again, at risk. Uh, and I do like it being all like that. You saw there, and that's actually a good point to make, you saw there, when I didn't put the uh, the false in, so if I go back, it's blank. And and basically what that's doing is, is it's, you know, because the way the formula is set up is if it's not, if the condition's not specified, it's just gonna return a blank. So do bear that in mind. Um, but yeah, Formula 3 is very much like Formula 2. It's more just how you kind of prefer to build them. Uh, it's kind of easier on the eye. As you can see, I actually think this one's much easier. It's obviously a little bit more simple, but the result is the same. Now, if Formula 4, now this one is a little bit tricky. Uh, and what we're looking at in this particular uh, if formula is we're using the or um, logical expression. So what we're doing here is we are or condition, I should say. So if uh, this row is green, if it is blue, the project is on track. If it is yellow or if it is red, then it's at risk. So this one, this one is basically saying if it's anything else than blue and blue and green, then it should be at risk. And this one, we're actually specifying them. So uh, it depends on your data and your use cases, but this one may be more important if you really need to pull out certain things and certain data. So let's say, as an example, uh, we added another rag. Um, obviously, it makes no sense from a project perspective, but here we could then put something like uh, purple in here as an example, and it would work. It would still work. So just bear that in mind. It's just something that, uh, you know, it's another means of using an if formula. Um, and it, depending on the complexity of your data and what you're trying to show, this one might be more useful. So I hope this video is useful. If it was, please do hit the like button. Please um, add your comments down below as well if you have any on this or just formulas in general. Um, and do consider subscribing to my channel. I've got uh, over, I think, 80 videos at time of uh, recording on Smartsheet training. So if you're new to the tool, I would suggest checking that out. And I will just quickly mention again, I've got my courses as well. So you may want to, to have a look at those uh, if you're new as well. So with all of that said, uh, I hope you have an excellent day.